That is the motto of like two under two. Pick your battles. This lighting is just awful, but I am getting ready really fast. Um, <laughs> today's gonna be absolute chaos. I um, need to take Doug this morning between eight and nine to go get his teeth cleaned. And it's, it's a desperation at this point. His breath is so bad and he really needs his nails cut. So that's between eight and nine. Between eight and one, and I am praying it is after I get home, the safe light repair people have to come to my house because on Saturday night we went to look at Christmas lights and um, we were like basically coming back down the mountains essentially and something hit my windshield on my brand new car. I had not even had it for like a full 24 hours at that point and uh, something hit my car windshield and we didn't see anything at first but I got in the car on Monday and saw this like, I mean I'm talking it's like this big little scratch at the top or like little like crack at the top. Problem is you can't let those things go unnoticed because I had one of my niece on one time and I was like, oh, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. I waited like maybe four or five days and I just like every day I would get in and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get to it. I hit a pothole and it literally went you and like the whole windshield cracked. So I have safe light repair coming, but I completely forgot when I made the appointment and didn't know my mom like wouldn't be able to watch the boys or anything so yeah it's like it's a it's a gonna be an interesting mad dash today and then at 3 p.m 3 p.m azra has got to go get we have to go pick up his little braces so little man has flat feet that also pronate in so they're not even just flat they like actually slide into that azra is that wrong? He's not moving at all to be making noise. Oh, uh, they pronate in and they're really, really bad and they can cause him pain. They can cause him issues with his hips. As someone who has flat feet but also pronate in, they very much so cause pain. Um, you wear out shoes faster. Uh, they could prevent him from sports. Like I knew a guy in high school, he wanted to go to West Point. Literally got denied from West Point because he had flat feet. So, it's like it just there are so many reasons why we're getting it fixed but um it is going to cost 960 dollars insurance covers zero dollars zero which is so disappointing and honestly expected of insurance at this point someone said she is like you could always like uh, push it to the new year because we haven't met our deductible or out of pocket So it's 100% on us to pay and of course every office visits covered after that They acted like that was like the most amazing thing. like well your office visits are covered Oh my god, thank you for having giving me a $60 copay after that for how much we pay you for insurance $960 because we haven't met our deductible out of pocket none of that and um Yeah, they just don't cover it. So that's that was super frustrating yesterday Monday to hear that like insurance covers zero dollars of it um but anyway someone said we should like move it to the new year that way at least it covers like towards our out-of-pocket deductible stuff next year if it was me i totally would but it's ezra and it's my child and so it's like i i'm just gonna go ahead and get him the braces when they come in because he really does need them so roman is waking up it's 7 10. honestly we probably need to be in the car in the next like 10 15 minutes i already showered got ready I am literally just have to throw on clothes. Both boys are gonna have pajamas on because we're literally just, it's a drop off for a dog for surgery. Like I did, they don't need to be cute. I'm just getting dressed so that I don't have to get dressed later and I can dress them. So. It's gonna be chaos. All right, Dee, can you go put that back on the shelf in the pantry please? We gotta go. All right. Just a lot of things not happening. I'm wearing shoes in the house. We are not making the bed right now, just breaking all kinds of rules. But we gotta go. Gotta let Doug out. We gotta get moving. We're gonna get breakfast on the way home.
forgot that Sam's Christmas present was out here. Hopefully I can get this done quickly. And, you won't even see it. Daddy's getting Bubba ready now. Yeah, Daddy's getting Bubba ready. Why? Yeah, because Bubba's coming with us. Bubba has to come with us. He can't stay here by himself. Here. Can you... Thank you for being good. Thank you for being good. Yeah. Yeah, you're such a good boy. And then we're going to go get Doug. And we're going to put him in the backpack. And we're going to go. And you're going to see Doug the whole ride there. Can you believe it? Lucy. Yeah, are you gonna be nice to him? Yeah. You gonna keep him entertained? Oh, cool. Okay. All right, boys. So, I got the text that Six Lights coming between eight and one. I was like panicking. I thought it was the text telling me they were on their way. Eight and one. Sorry if y'all are shaky, I'll be done in a minute. Zeus, do not jump up there. You stay in the back with, with E. We don't have, uh, like we had an old seatbelt. I'm gonna have to wait till I'm on the main road, hold on. I don't even know if any of these kids have pacifiers. I hope my wallet's in there, like I don't know. Everything's just gotta be, okay. But drop offs between eight and nine, and I realized like late, late last night we don't have a seatbelt. Like we used to have a seatbelt for Doug. I don't have one anymore. It's like a good one that attaches to your car. We don't have one for the back seat for this car. So I do have a pad. And that's about it. I don't love that, but it's a brand new car, and so that's that's the extent I can give. But I'm gonna just. Oh, I hope we can, we, we make it. Okay. I kid you not, it is 8.39 and the Safe Light Tech called me. She is supposed to be here at 8.50. I love Zeus's vet like so much, but they take forever <laughs> to get like simple paperwork and stuff done like they're so thorough but it is the longest process ever if you oh yes uh sam's coming home at lunch i need to like let me do this um it's just like the longest process ever to get things done but they're thorough so it's worth it um they're really good but we got there i had to unload two kids and a dog and there was a woman who was uh, inside, just like, I guess they were dropping off her cat. And she came and she helped me. And I was like, oh, thank you so much. And she was like, you are so welcome. <laughs> you could just tell she was like, mother, I relate. So we did not get a chance to go to Bojangles like I promised Ezra. So we'll have to do that for lunch or something. Um, but the Safe Flight Lady should be here within like the next 10 minutes. So I'm gonna run inside get these kiddos some food. Well, get E some food. I just shut the garage door for some reason. Don't know why. It's already, it's literally 8.40 and it's already been like, oh, what a day. I've done more by 8.50 than like, than like I used to do before, in a whole day before I had kids. <laughs> That's not true, but it is one of those. All right, E-Money, I'm gonna take Bubba inside and I'm gonna come grab you, okay? Why do you not have shoes on again? All right, I gotta go take Bubba in and then I'm gonna come grab you. All right, sir. What'd you do? Say hi. <laughs> Roro's inside, baby. Uh-huh, he's inside. Yeah. Oh. It is. Do you want a pancake? Yeah. Okay, let me get you a pancake, baby. Your Baba is just asleep in. So we're actually gonna leave him for a minute because I need to get my crap together. I'm gonna take these shoes off too. Do you want, well, I gotta figure out what did daddy do with that waffle maker. So yeah, let me whip you up some breakfast, kiddo. 
I don't know where the waffle maker is. Hey. This little ten dollar waffle maker. It makes little Christmas trees. Hi. Yeah. I'm gonna make you some, baby. Oh my goodness, my big baby. You wanna go watch some TV? Let's watch Miss Rachel. Ah! and I don't care for parent shaming, it will be erased. If you don't like it, don't do it, that's fine. Um, some days we don't do any <laughs> screen time. Some days we do a lot more. Usually, I only have it going though when we are cooking because Ezra is just in his, I want to be in your, like in between your legs, under your feet phase and it's really hard to cook safely a lot of times and also cook healthy because like you have to prepare a lot of stuff on the stove and in the oven and like, I, I need him not underneath me to do those things. So I just, that's, I pick my poison and we do hay bear and we bribe with Nutri-Grain bars, don't we? No, don't slide me another Nutri-Grain bar. This kid and his nutri -grain. Yeah. No, no. Mm -mm. That'll be Nutri-Grain bar number three today. We are not doing that, baby. I will say though, screen time we only do Usually like nine times out of 10, it is Miss Rachel because Roman will watch Miss Rachel, but Ezra will always watch Hay Bear. Um, we also do, what's it called? Bluey. Bluey is very big in our home. First one's always like a good test. Their little Christmas tree pancake. All right, breakfast is good. And I actually need to take my liquid collagen, but I wanted to tell you guys. So I think I'm getting my boobies done in the new year. <laughs> so let me, let's talk about that for a second. Let me take my collagen. So I have um, talked about this on my Instagram. And to be honest with y'all, I am so, so excited, not nervous, just annoyed by like, I wanna do it so bad and I know that there's downtime. And I'm already annoyed by that. And that's the only thing that's putting me off, but downtime is downtime whether I take it now or later. So, local collagen, make your hair grow fast. Um, even when I'm losing it, it was part of my I'm already getting, can you guys see? I'm already getting regrowth. So, my hair is dirty today though, so we're doing a baseball hat. Basically, I breastfed two kids within, it was wild how it works. If you saw the, the whole video about the whole breastfeeding thing with Roman and how quitting that actually helped my postpartum depression significantly, it's wild how it worked. I finished breastfeeding, so I gave birth to Ezra April 8th of 2022, and I finished breastfeeding with him November 2nd and I remember it because I got my period four days later and that's the period that made Roman um, So I finished breastfeeding with him November 2nd. I got my period on November 6th of 2022 Of course you get asked that a ton in the beginning of your pregnancy or just in general so they can calculate your due date So I kept saying November 6th November 6th 2023 was when I finished breastfeeding Roman and I gave birth to him in July so um it was just crazy. My body was in some way or another changing and it went from growing a baby to feeding a baby to immediately growing a baby to immediately feeding a baby. It was just a lot. And my boobies have suffered dearly for it. So I was a triple D before I got pregnant and I didn't mind my boobs. They weren't my favorite. Like I just felt like they were so excessive. I have really broad shoulders. Like if you stand next to me, I don't think people realize I have super broad shoulders and I'm really tall, I'm five foot nine. So I always carried them well, I just didn't like them. And I, after I got finished breastfeed, after I finished breastfeeding Ezra, they shrunk up and they were like, probably like smaller C's. I wouldn't say they were like B's, I would say they were smaller C's. And I loved them so much. Like I wouldn't say those are itty bitty titties, but like to have been a part of the big titty committee and then gone back to like 
the average size maybe. I don't know if that's average. I just loved them. I felt like everything looked better on me. It was easier to shop. My like shirts just looked like it was just I loved them. They were low maintenance. They weren't just in my way all the time. Whenever I worked out, they weren't like I wasn't having to wear these like special sports bras and like two sports bras and big big boob girls. You guys know like those two sports bras are just awful. But it's sometimes it's a necessity because it's hard to find bras that actually work. So I only have the small boobies for like two months because as soon as I really hit like week eight, week ten with Roman, it's like my boobs literally overnight went right back to triple D's. It was awful. <laughs> And then of course I breastfed and they were just like big melons on my chest. So now they look like empty tube socks. There's nothing in there. There's no knots, there's no, nothing. They literally hang so low and they look like empty tube socks. And so I think my birthday present from me to me is gonna be new boobies and I'm really excited for it. I don't want implants. I don't want fat transfer. I want a lift and I want, I guess they uh, technically is a reduction if they remove skin. I don't know if they're considered two different things. I'm fine with whatever size they are now. They're like, they're little-ish. Little compared to what I'm used to, I guess should, I should say. They're, they're just, I'd say they're probably like Caesar D's and I like them. So I just want them lifted because they point, to, like my nipples literally point to my toes. It's just not cute. <laughs> So I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm gonna get my boobies done in the new year and that makes me really excited because I just, like, I, I, want, I want them done. I want the small boobs for, or you have to stop saying small. I want the average size boobs for life. I don't know if that's average. What's average? Let's look. Is there an average? What's the average cup size in America? Let's do that in America. Oh my God. The average breast size in America is 34 double D? What? That's big. Well, okay, maybe it's, I don't know. To me, average is like C or D. I loved my C boobies in high school. I should I should have appreciated them when I had them and I loved them when I was done breastfeeding. I, was, I like them now, they're just, they're very, it's a lot, so yeah, hopefully, I have a recommendation for a surgeon who did my mom's lift and he's amazing. And so I think, I think that's who I'm gonna go to. But it's time to play with these little cute boys. We're gonna turn this TV off and get to playing. Um, the safe light here, the safe light lady's still here. That's why I kind of don't want to like get into anything or do any work stuff. Um, so we're gonna play until E goes down for his nap at like 10:30 ish. What? We're about to, I'm about to put you in bed, baby. I promise. I've got six minutes and I'll put you in bed. I'm feeding Bubba right now. Uh -huh. Do you want to help me wrap Daddy's present later? Yeah. Yeah? It's going to be hard. Is that okay? Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's a chainsaw. I've got to figure out how to wrap a chainsaw. But I'm on, we're almost done, baby. Bubba's eating and then we're going to go, we're going to go nap, okay? We've got both kids down. Napping. So Roman is literally sleeping on the sofa. He is going through the four month sleep regression. Ezra did this. It could be the perfect sleep environment, a dark, cool room with a perfect sleep sack. It doesn't matter what sleep sack, white noise machine, and he would still not sleep. And I'm out here living my life, and he's sleeping on the sofa, and he'll sleep so well. Like it's so weird. Ezra did the same thing, and it's like as soon as they hit five months old, everything got easier. So I'm just picking my battles and that is the motto of like two under two. Pick your battles and care less, just care less. If your child is into something and it maybe is making a mess, if they're not hurting themselves or someone else, cool, you can play with it. Like it's just, it's not something I'm gonna take a battle, or like take a fight for right now. Um, it, it's, it really is. And something I try to do is I'm trying to be a whole lot more into the yeses and not so much into no's. Like it, they just get taught. I feel like kids for so long, like Ezra was just told no to everything. And now I've tried to switch and I'm just like, okay, like if I have to clean it up, it takes five minutes to clean up that mess. I don't care. Sure play with it or sure do this or whatever. So that's why I let him play with the food processor and in the pantry because it's just like not, He's not gonna wanna be playing with the food processor at 18 years old. And it's not like some intense lesson can be learned by me not letting him play with the food processor. So anyway, 
I've just learned to like care less about things like messes and you know things that may be a slight inconvenience to me if it's not gonna teach some kind of extreme lesson or it's not hurting him or someone else then it's cool also the sleep situation for Ezra so he for a really long time went down at 11 and he needs to be taking three hours worth of naps so he was waking up at like 7 a.m. and then going down at 11 and he was melting down by the end of the day. Like it was just awful. So we tried to like push his nap time a little bit later, figuring maybe that was the problem. And he just absolutely hated it. Like it wasn't working. So one day he happened to go down at 1030 and he napped for three hours. So now we find that 10.30 is the sweet spot. He doesn't show sleepy cues at 10.30, um, usually well by 11. But I find that with a toddler, they have this like, they just wanna like fight their sleep so much more. And so he doesn't show sleepy cues the same way that he used to when he was a kid. And Roman doesn't show really any until it's too late. But um, yeah, so 10.30 is his sweet spot. He wakes up at seven, he goes down at 10.30. And then he kind of does, he wakes up at like, roughly um 2 2 30 he likes that's his longer stretch so from 2 30 to 7 he's awake and i just find that that's a lot easier but he does have to actually nap he's standing in there right now kind of winding down so um yeah 10 30 he is in his crib roman's asleep beside me safe light lady has left doug is doing his thing i um they said pickup is between five and seven. Ezra's appointment is this afternoon at three. Sam should be home around one. He's just gonna come keep row. I told him I can take row. It, you know, whatever if work gets too busy, but that's where we're at. So I'm gonna get some work done now. I've got my laptop, um, gotta do some deals gonna try and share some more um like gift guides because we are so close to christmas and then i also am going to get up a youtube video so this is my work time and i gotta take advantage of it come on uh, gotta go get in the car uh, uh, are you all right yeah are you sure I mean, I kind of, that was kind of loud. That was a little loud, Ezra. Like, you kind of just rammed your head into my door. Go. Door. Uh, yeah, dip it down a little bit more. Door. D. Door. And we're off. Let's go get this kid his braces. I thought for sure, I was like, oh, you know, it's going to be super interesting this vlog, showing a day in the life of two under two. But to be completely honest, being in the car a lot, that is a lot of what I'm, what I'm doing. It really is. Like it's, I've spent so much time in the car between chiropractor visits and doctor visits and grocery shopping, all that stuff. I actually do spend a decent amount of time in the car. All right, I love you, baby. Okay, so let me just tell you, one of my goals for 2024 is to um, eat out less. However, my child needs his like room to be freezing cold when he sleeps. And so, oh God, these seatbelts lock up so easy. And so I get so cold in the house that I'm like, okay, bye. And also Roman is not napping today. We're still going through the four month sleep progression. And I'm like, if I can just get him to sleep, I know he will sleep good. Like the other day, it was really weird. Roman slept for two and a half hours straight almost exactly the same amount of time that Ezra slept. Like three hours is an age appropriate nap for Ezra's age. An hour is age appropriate for Roman. So he's just kind of all over the place. But I'm like, if I can just get this kid to sleep, the day will be great. So I'm running and I'm gonna go grab food for all of us, <laughs> cause why not? But, oh, it's so cold. I'm so cold. I'm so cold, I'm so cold. I'm so cold in that house. I cannot do it. Like, we literally have to have the air going because, hold on, let me, I keep doing this. I gotta wait till I get on the main road because this road's so shaky. It's a gravel road, so it's like insane. So we, the HVAC is right in the center of our house and we have had some issues where like our room is really cold, Ezra's room is really hot. And the HVAC guys come out a couple times to, um, 
try and fix it and he kind of got it a little bit balanced out we did discover that like it's best because Ezra's room is it's where it's facing Ezra's room faces where the sun beats down all day and our room gets no direct sunlight at all everything is indirect so it's just basically the position of our house um, so we have to like sometimes turn the air on to keep it cool and it's misery and I told Sam he actually was I was like you're scaring me right now because the house is so cold and I was like I'm gonna go grab lunch and he goes okay I don't really want any food will you get me a milkshake babe it's freezing outside it is so cold what are you even talking about so I'm sorry if y'all are a little shaky I'll go ahead and close it out my whole purpose in this was to tell y'all I was planning on doing a day in the life of two under two the other day like a full day in the life but if it is not so accurate to just like the vlog cuts off and like half the day isn't filmed like that's two under two I love the idea of filming and sharing what it's like to have two kids however I don't care how many people it helps I'm not going to film my child having a meltdown I won't do it and there are people who do that and they film their kids crying and they film you know all the struggles because it may make someone feel less alone and while I am all about that that doesn't mean that my child needs to be the subject of you feeling less alone like he, he doesn't need to be exposed to that so Ezra is kind of having some meltdowns these days he's getting to that like phase where if he can't have exactly what he wants he gets really frustrated and throws a fit um, and so we're working with him on that and it's just not something that I want to film that's what the other day like it was just there were a lot of meltdowns happening and also my goal isn't to get my camera out to film when my child is having a meltdown my child is my focus is to like on him um so yeah i just wanted to say like that's why it literally just cut off because he just wasn't having a great evening he was just in one of those moods where he just wanted to do it like he wanted to climb on the counter he wanted to um he, he wanted to like kick he wanted to throw he wanted to you know just a lot of different things so we've been working with that on him and it, it's just a lot so that's why it cut off but that's a true day in the life is just it doesn't always go smooth and perfect and a lot of times you spend just a day in the car and sometimes you spend all day at home just trying to keep your kids happy sometimes you spend the whole day at home and everything is everything goes, goes great it just really depends so I'm going to go now I'm freezing cold and I want to listen to a little bit of music while I try and get this kid to sleep so thank y'all for watching this very bumpy vlog and I'll see y'all next time